previously. I haven't grinded this down yet. So right here, this middle section, like I said, most of this is getting cut out anyway. But over here, I'm definitely gonna have to fix this side. Anytime I see this, this is probably where the holes are. Cause like over here, you couldn't really tell at first. So I started putting my uh, scraper in it. And this is a nice little hole right here. So anytime I see all this Bondo, I know to go hard and get this shit out. I just gotta mark out where I'm gonna cut, cut my sheet metal, and then weld in. And then this section here, um, this is getting cut out. This is probably the biggest piece. Um, this whole section is getting replaced. It's free. First time in a long time my driveway had been empty on one side but today we're working on the uh, caprice and I started uh, making the template for the top piece on the uh, passenger side and I got it pretty close to where I want it so as you can see it's pretty much where I want it always that one corner I gotta fix but been working on that and then the uh, driver's side I just got it in primer right now so you can see how that's looking but we're gonna fill that in um, I still gotta grind this down take down the wells a little more and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some filler on it Yeah, like I said, the driveway is empty. Um, I'm expecting another car. I got rid of the 64 F100. Well, not really rid of it, but my brother-in-law, he's, he's gonna keep it for a while. He wants to play with it, drive it, fix it up a little bit. So, you know, I'm a big time Chevy. And it's really, I bought it for my wife. But my brother-in-law, he gonna go ahead and play with it while I'm working on the other one. Which, if you follow my Instagram, at Cat Local Garage, um, you can see the car that I picked up. If not, just wait for another video and I'll show you what I picked up. But yeah, I did the same procedure. Um, I made a cardboard template. I cut the sheet metal, and then I used the hammer and dolly to make a little bend on here. And I got it exactly, pretty much where I want it. I still gotta grind down the sides and get ready for welding um it's pretty late right now so it'll probably be tomorrow i start welding but you can see how close i got the gaps on this one and i'm not really worried about the top because most of this is going to get trimmed again after i put the panoramic roof bracket on here so i'm not really worried about the edges right now but this is the biggest part Grind down the welds, um, put filler on it on both sides. Um, I'm thinking about waiting to fill the welds. I'm thinking about doing in the uh, fiberglass after I'm done with the um, panoramic bracket. But I might just go ahead and do it, knock out both sides, and then just work on the bracket. And after I finish that, then I can work on the uh, front of the car, patch anything by the windshield. Grind it. It's your boy Loco, man on my lunch again so I went ahead and uh, created this little angle uh, grinder slash die grinder combo um, these roll like this wear down really quick so I'm trying to use this to smooth down my wells a little bit along with the uh, grinding wheel got me some flap disc but um, right now I'm just focused on grinding down these welds I got my patch in and I made a little mistake when I made this I should have paid more attention to tapping down my weld so these welds are pretty high so when I weld it I should be tapping to get these more flush so I had to do a lot of grinding you can see on the sides um, 
like right here. I need to grind this down a little more. But you can see my tray. And then I got some gaps. I need to fill in, I need to fill this in, I need to fill that in. One here, like so like four gaps. Um, I might need to bang that down a little bit. I'll just go ahead and fill it. Not a big deal. Fiberglass is going over this anyway. And when I put the bracket on, it's gonna raise it up about an eighth or a quarter inch. Um, so I'm gonna have to level this out anyway. So this is not a big deal. Over here, I got pretty flat, pretty smooth. Um, I saw I go back and finish stitch welding. Um, I only missed like right here. And then I need to fit there. Because when I grind it down, it opened up some holes, some pinholes. Well, that's more like little slits. So I got fixed two on this side. And then the bottom rail, I got a couple, like that's a big one right there. Um, and then this section, you just finish stitch welding this section here. But I mean, that's basically what you do. Bunch of stitch welds, grind it down, look for your pinholes, fill it in again with some weld. Grind it out, and then we're gonna then we're gonna flap this um, these welds out. So hopefully it won't we won't even see it. But like I said, it's gonna fiberglass. So that's where we're at. I got this piece in here. I mean, it's it's not moving. So I'm gonna finish grinding this a little more. Um, then later on today or um, this weekend, I'm gonna finish stitch welding and then flap this it out and then we can start on our uh, bracket for our pen rack roof but yeah some little welds ain't perfect but it's in there man it's it's strong As always, it's your boy Cat Loco. Remember to like, comment, definitely subscribe. Share if you want. Peace.